Yeah. Yeah. The two. Can, can we have crispy bacon, please? Is that, is that yours? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yours, right? I don't know what's. I'll have the same as well. Yeah. Have that one. Have that one. Have that one. I'll eat an eggs. I'll eat an eggs. So we're just getting this break to we're running late for the flight. Like I said, it's uh, three days post show. Flying out to Ibiza for a little recreational detox, calm. Um, just for a break after, obviously, we've all been prepping right from the start of the year. Is it Spanish you might have? You said Ibiza? No. It's the same as any other. It's not Ibiza. So, we, we must be missing right. our flight. We've got, we've got to get this breakfast down rapid. I'm ah, that's cold, man. Oh, Sounds cold. Yeah. Where's my um? I don't know what's going on. I've just got to go. Everyone's stressing me out. The eggs are cold. So I'm sticking to. <laughs> I, 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 I asked for a cheese omelette with I'm see you on the plane, let's go. SRV separation confirmed. Yeah. Coming up on uh, staging, the burnout of these twin solid rocket boosters at 2 minutes 5 seconds. I'm back in the kitchen again. I went from the boy in the corner, now I'm the man of the ends. If my brothers go beef, I'm a jump in the ride and I'm right. We mix it up sometimes, you know. Come with that. Oh, wait, Fine. the new whip. This is the new Zana down, Zana down. Obviously, we just have to play into the start yeah. video. Search gang. Okay, we come a bit different, you know, with the Peugeot and I beat that. You know how we do. We mix Big whips only, yeah? Big whips only. Big whips only, oh, yeah? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> wow. Wow. You, you fucking nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. We're in Ibiza. Good morning, people. What is going on? Welcome to our Ibiza vlog. Today is what's today? Thursday. Uh, we did start filming yesterday, but we had such a hectic day that we ended up just locking it off. So starting fresh again this morning. Welcome to our villa. So yesterday, what we did, we... Um, Literally, when we eventually got here and got it all sorted. First things first, food shop, which we did. Made sure we stock up on everything. I always think, obviously you're on holiday, so it depends what, um, depends what the, uh, what's the word? Depends what your priority is. Obviously, I've just competed on Sunday, as you all know. Um, I am now doing the finals in four weeks, which I wasn't actually, I don't want to say I wasn't, expecting to qualify for but it wasn't a priority because it was more of a thing for me to see whether I fit into whether I could hold my own in the class and obviously if you've watched the last videos then you know that I did pretty well so now the finals have become a priority but obviously this was already booked so um, <clears throat> uh, the whole setup we've got here does help with me being able to stay on track now so I've made a plan to the plan is to maintain pretty much more than anything. I'll go into it into a little bit more detail, but the plan is to maintain because then as soon as we get back on Saturday night, um, Sunday is three weeks out from the British finals. Um, so, obviously it's not ideal, but if you've got the willpower, you can you can still work around it. Like, it's, there's no different from being at home. Um, my diet and nutrition is still on point. My training is still on point. My cardio is still on point, which is what we're going to go and do now. So, um, waiting for the lads to get ready. Me, Phil, Damo rolling. Yeah, Damo's rolling. Uh, Troy and Malx, it's just all, us five out here, by the way. They're a bit worse for wear. Obviously, first night and whatnot. We're fresh, good to go. So we're gonna head down to a gym. We joined there yesterday. It's called Frail Gym. It's all right to be fair. It's a bit of fucking ironic to be fair, isn't it? It's called it's called Frail Gym. Frail. Yeah. So um yeah, we're gonna head down there. Fucking 35 pounds for a week pass. Yeah, and then four pounds for a towel. But um yeah, yeah. Make sure you bring the towel. Bring what little one from here. Let's pay four pound. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head over to the gym. What I'll do is I'll give you a little update into. Um, plans for this week and how I'm going about structuring this week to try and stay in as much shape as possible like I said the key the goal for me at, at this point is maintenance not losing any muscle and not blow ballooning up and putting on as much weight so then if I can get back home on Sunday the same condition that I am now that, I, that I've come out here in then I've got three weeks to work for the finals um, I know obviously we've got feedback and everything from the judges that we need to do for the final so I will well, I'll go through that with you later but yeah 
I'm gonna jump in the car, get to the gym so we can go get this done because I've got cardio as well. And I'll catch up with you in a sec. Go for a liter. Um, what's it called? Tesla. Tiptronic Tesla. Obviously, yeah, uh, don't get too much of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Lucy. Big lips on it. As you can see, we are in the middle of two lanes. <laughs> I think with, with the driving here, you've just got to be... Um, you got to adapt. You've got to adapt and be bold. Yeah, because we've got the biggest car <laughs> we can take. We're like, imagine, we, we have got a fucking estate rolling around <laughs> in Ibiza, in a Peugeot estate. I don't even know how to... There's and, still like enough room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, two exercises, each body part, superset it that way. Just get a slow ticket, get a good pump, make sure... Um, I'm just staying on top of it, especially on top of my rebound as well from Sunday. Like, bear in mind, it was only completed Sunday. Started to get a bit of water retention through yesterday. My ankle started slowing up, but luckily, it seems to have gone down. So, and you were flying as well. Yeah. That would help. That would cause oh, yeah, yeah, retention yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the water retention. If you watch like the last video, I like, got I did as much as possible to stop the water retention. I was straight onto my cardio. Uh, I haven't stopped cardio. Carried on diet. I didn't really binge or anything because obviously we got the show in four weeks, but. Um, Obviously, your body's fighting just to hold on to everything, so sometimes it's inevitable. So I got a little bit of water tension down in my ankles last night, uh, yesterday. But that said, that was through travelling and everything as well. It don't seem to be as bad today, so we're in a good place. Don't want to find a spot to park, and then we'll go get this session in. It's Thursday. I've already done push pull legs for the week, but um, I was going to keep training all the way through. Like I said, I'm, I was so full yesterday. Even though I had a binge on food, the Sunday night we had that five guys, yeah. and then I went out with my parents for dinner on the Tuesday. Other than that, I've been on diet. But even after those full three days, you always forget it. It's not even about the cheat day after um, the show. I carb for three days. There's like two thousand yeah. five hundred gram of carbs. So yesterday training was so full, so pumped, ridiculous. So I'm half, I'm half trying to deplete back down more than yeah. anything. But I'll just say to them, we'll get the balance right of not losing weight and losing any muscle tissue and not blowing up with water or blowing up with body fat by eating shit. So we're just going to train, training wise, two exercises per body part, um, keeping it moving, getting a sweat on, pushing all the water out, making sure it's engaging and just keeping it nice and full and then uh, get some cardio in and get out of here. It's for the streets, B. Pet Nam. Welcome to the streets, there ain't no rules out here If I tell you move, you better move, I swear I'm knees deep in it, ain't no turning back Everybody hungry, we all serving packs crack One thing for sure and two for certain that Any track I'm on, you know I murder that If my niggas ride out, it's probably a murder that Bulge in my bulge in my pocket, that's the burner that Everybody hate Chris Say that they gon' do me this and that But see me never say shit, no Never do none, now. Nah. I'm your worst nightmare my uh, approach on uh, like dealing with being out here is literally stick to 100 gram of carbs a day, um, 50 gram pre-workout, 50 gram post-workout, um, and then just keep my fats a little bit higher and um, keep my protein high. And um, like you can see, the difference, if you go back to like my uh, one day, you know, two days out videos, something like that, see the difference in my fullness, and that's just from those that day carving up. And, uh, the two cheat meals I've had. So, Wait, so what are you doing with your cardio as well? Yeah, cardio wise, so right up to the point where before we compete, I was doing an hour, uh, an hour in the morning, an hour in the evening, two hours cardio a day. Um, I did come out here and I intended to do uh, just 45 minutes daily, but I'm just playing it as it goes. I woke up this morning and like I was saying earlier, trying to find that line between doing too much and not enough. Yeah. And uh, I felt like I was, not losing size, but obviously it was out till late, got back late, didn't get much water yesterday either. So I don't want to push it and start losing muscle. So I was going to keep my cardio half an hour just to make sure I'm ticking over. Because I mean, we're active all day, so I'm burning a lot of calories as it is. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make sure I train every day, hit a minimum of 30 minutes cardio a day, and like my carbs will just be 50p, 50 pre, 50 post. And, uh, I think that should be more than enough for me. I said I'm staying tight, I'm staying full, and I'm, I'm actually want to be a bit more depleted than this. I'm still full to the rim, so I don't even need any more than 100 gram of carbs today. I'll probably see how the rest of the week are less than that. But then just to make sure I don't lose any muscle, I'm just going to make sure I stay at that amount. Like I said, I'm, in my head, if I can just, I'm coming in this condition, if I can get home in this condition, then I've got three weeks to work for the finals. So, two exercises down, to the next one.
I'm the type to, I'm the type to roll up on you niggas with a suit on Disguise as a businessman I'm coming with a gun, not a business plan I shoot you in your mark, headshot CSB a thug, I had dreams of kicking bull But I guess they weren't enough Peck and be the ends, London be the city I might holler at your girlfriend if she's looking pretty I don't know if people like me or hate me I see that people closely it's not really a bodybuilder's gym. And I was in post show, so I get it. But I can't work up with it. I can't, I can't tell whether they really think I'm a prick. <laughs> <laughs> or they just think, oh, he's got a physique. No, hopefully he's allowed. He probably thinks both. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think, I think that's what it is though. You get a misconception when you're like bodybuilding in a non-bodybuilding environment. Even yeah. like last night we went out, yeah. you know, we went to that. Was you with us? And he went to me last night. Was you with us then? Nah, you went, to, uh, yeah. Yeah, we went somewhere and then the two bouncers stopped me. And then called the manager over there and just <laughs> chatting in the language to me. And then my wife said, what? Obviously I get it. They automatically think you're a problem, yeah, and yeah, honestly, yeah, 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 um, a lot of people, they were trouble makers, go to the gym because they want to look big and they yeah. want to be scary and yeah. look like trouble, but this is his sport, this yeah. is his hobby. Yeah. And obviously, this close to after a show, there's no way I can't really look freaky in a normal scenario in here. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm one of his old shows over there. He's like, fuck, fuck. It's Ocean Beach today and I'm shredded out of my mind. Love that. <laughs> Barrel on a shotgun, come big like my nose Round the window on the whip down, he saw me and he froze If he a foe, please, don't let that nigga go Send that nigga up, send him up, make that nigga float If my nigga's in the beef, you know that I'm involved if you got beef with a nigga, catch him killing, problem solved I'm so happy that I can be like, able to make I know it's only been a day, in, but do you know what I mean? I've done well yeah, so every, uh, every holiday we go on it's like, oh, we're gonna train, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. And straight away, fall off. But obviously, because there's, like, I've got no choice in the matter this time round, yeah, yeah. It's, it's easier to stay on it. So I felt good, man. Um, and you go into ocean as well, so it's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quite, like, I've been saying for the last two years, because especially the way our seasons work, the last two two years, all through summer is off season. And then I'm shredding in fucking September, October. Yeah, yeah. So, uh,. Can't like it. There's not. There's not a bad feeling <laughs> than being shredded on holiday with your lads. Whatever. <laughs> like a proper dickhead. But yeah, no, nah, it's true though. Yeah, it's true. It's so, true. I'm happy we got time to write this year. But um, I think next year as well. Like we got a lot. We mentioned before in the videos. We got a lot of plans outside of just competing and whatnot. So we're gonna time our shows a little bit better. So we are in shape throughout the summer because we want to do a lot of travelling. Want to go to America, certain other bits and pieces. So I think next year. We're gonna plan it so the off season, you know, so we we come into we get into shape towards the start of summer because we get we do get a lot of opportunities around these times. But half the time we're coming to the end of our off season and then getting ready to compete, so it sort of throws everything off. So I think it'll be good good for us next year. Anyway. But yeah, back same again, two exercises, split between the two, a bit of wise and tries and then cardio. Put the burner to his mouth, make him kiss it. I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm vicious. I might slit your neck if there's money on your head or for disrespect. I feel good, man. I think it's a good thing, you know, like, I think what the last, this prep taught me that we don't, you don't need as much carbs as you, I know I'm gonna rebound so I'm yeah. gonna be off for that, but even still, I'm like 80 to 100 gram of carbs a day. I haven't had this full in 80s, but I was just having dieting for long anyway. Everything looks mad right now. Yeah. My nigga caught a case, caught a prison stretch Until this fucking day he ain't left prison yet It's been eight years Saw his mum the other day, she had grey hairs Free the guy though I ain't gonna lie, I'm a psycho, I'm nuts I remember yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. That's Scott That was Scott at PCA Midlands <laughs> <laughs> ever, since, ever since I was like, pose, like, people be messaging me like, oh, I didn't think you could get down there. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I keep up. I've been how long have I been saying on videos and whatever? I'm an athlete, bro. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I, I, I didn't see his routine until I got to the show, and then all of a sudden he dropped into one of these, and I was like, he's not getting back. <laughs> and he just slid back up like it was he's nothing. Like, like, he's like, he's like, I get electric slide. <laughs> he said, watch, I'm not, now, now that I've, I've got the um, taste for it. Splits, backflip, all these things are coming in. Yeah, the confidence. The confidence is booming now. I'm gonna come backstage and like, yo, where's this coming from? That is true, man. <laughs> <laughs> Running from the 5 0 oh, feds on my back, hammer on me, and it's live, bro. Shells in the strap, like, who wanna die, bro? I ain't gonna lie, I'm a psycho. I remember running from this 5 0 oh, feds on my back, hammer on me, and it's live, bro. Shells in the strap, like, who wanna die, bro? Running from the boys in blue, all I hear is Nino, Nino. I'm stressed out, what the fuck you think a nigga smoke weed for? Heading on the right path, but life took a detour. I'm in no state to really be doing cardio, but he's got another show to win, and if you don't want to see him doing well, trust. That's why I got a shout out all the lads because even though I keep saying to them, obviously, don't, you don't have to uh, hate it to me as far as clubs. We're all in the villa, really like, so eating wise, these like pretty much eat what they want at the moment. Training wise, they don't really have to train anything like that. Cardio, now they don't have to be here, but you already know how we all work. They're not having none of it, they're like, at the end of the day, if I need to do this, then everyone's here to do it. So, come train and make sure everyone's eating good. Basically, just doing everything in their power to make sure I stay on track as well, even though they've got no reason to do this house. But, like I said, that's nothing new, that's how we all work together. So, there was hanging at his ass, but he's here getting it in. I'm sitting here, I don't even pedal. Oh, hold on. Oh, yeah, I have pressed it, I thought. Um, can't even pedal. I sat here for about six minutes and I can't even pedal around once. <laughs> I am on a downwards spiral. <laughs> <laughs> well done, wrapped up. Good start to the day. Like I said, especially if you're, if you're on holiday here, yeah, like I said, it depends what your priorities are. Obviously, I have to do this shit because of the shows and whatnot. But every, don't, get me, don't get me wrong, every time we come on holiday, we say we're going to do this, and it never fucking happens. So I'm not going to be a hypocrite. It's just that this time we've got no choice. But don't get me wrong, this house so the, as far as like uh, trying to get some kind of structure in, literally has got this morning about 50 gram of carbs, what's this, a litre and a half, some vitamin C, some soluble vitamin C in there, try and down this before I train, but I didn't get it all in. Train, cardio, we're gonna go back now, get a shaking, get a post-workout meal in, another bottle, I'm gonna put some more vitamin C in. So your body just rehydrated and loaded up, ready to go again. So even if you are out partying, drinking, whatever, you can stay on top of it, like, I'm not obviously going in like that, but I'm still not getting much sleep, I'm not getting much rest, and able to maintain the structure I need to, to uh, um, like I said, keep my physique on point, ready for, uh, ready for the show in four weeks. So uh, what we're gonna do, we head back home. Then we're gonna work his magic on the oven, we're gonna get some food cooked before we head down to Ocean. And then um, I'll give you a little update, I've got a lot of feedback from the judges, so I can tell you like what we're, what the actual plan is as far as the things we need to do in the next three weeks and why we didn't get the win last time and so on and so forth. So uh, we'll see you back at the villa. He left the car open. Oh, you know what, it's like, I've come here and I've lost every kind of driving sense in the world. I've parked the car, left the handbrake off and we've all got out and it rolled. I'm hitting curbs. It's lost everyone, lost everyone has lost their mind. I wish, I wish we had a cameraman yesterday. <laughs> we are just dumb right now. That excited you. Stupid. Yeah, I mean that's what it is. That is the it's excitement exciting. has turned to stupidity. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, people are saying the stupidest things and everyone's like, oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> accepting it. <laughs> it. Makes no sense. We need a full-time cameraman so you can actually see what's going on. That was it. That wasn't even before the camera. Captured that, it though. captured that. I oh, thank you. I really appreciate. Yeah, I genuinely, you know, I genuinely appreciate because that's what I keep saying. Oh, you don't have to come with me. You don't have to come with me because man on holiday, you don't have to do this shit. But obviously, it helps me massively. So, hey, credit where credit is due. All tight, the man. Then it's going to the end of the world. Post workout, demo is gonna work the magic on the oven. Chicken, just put some here. Every time we go away. Damo is the chef. 
So he can sort all out. Like I said earlier, we do a big food truck. So we fill the fridge. Just we got some salmon, chicken, salad, eggs, usual typical gym shit pretty much. Um, obviously snacks on up here, lads. Um, and yeah, and we tend to just then we'll cook up a big meal for us. And just to make sure, our, even like said, not even to do with prep or nothing, just so make sure we eat good while we're out here. Um, but yeah, so I bought some isolate with me in my suitcase just to make sure I can get my uh, keep my protein up and get my post workout shaking. So what I did this morning, I didn't get it on camera, is I did um, this is my makeshift one as well. I did a uh, you gotta go real back to basics. Which, <laughs> I did, um, for, some, for some reason they don't do oats here in Spain, so what I'm doing is, where's where that saying? Yes, so I'm doing Special K, 60 grams, no, 50 grams of carbs from Special K, and then I'm using a whey isolate as well as my milk. Have that, like I said, get a litre and a half of water down with these soluble vitamin C's. And then um, train, cardio, now we've just got back. I'm gonna do another shake. So I literally just, I don't even know how much I'm doing. It's roughly about, oh, I don't know, two scoops. I've got, like I said, it's real bait, back to basics. Get my post-workout shaking. I've got some rice cakes that I'm gonna do for post-workout carbs. Um, and then literally from then it'll be zero carb for the rest of the day. But like I said, I'm still full from, um, from the carb load, from the cheat meals post show so there's no need for me to go crazy with food as you can, you can see from the videos I'm still pretty full um, good pumps good energy all that kind of stuff um, so yeah all good so post workout shake we're gonna get it in I'm gonna clean the house up because things got a bit hectic yesterday as they do and then uh, we're gonna eat we're gonna get ready and then we're gonna fucking shut down the ocean beach. Shout out to Damo. What we got here on the menu? Um, pasta with garlic and chili, pepper, chicken, with a side salad, avocado, tomatoes, wild lettuce, <laughs> and spinach. Lovely. So, um, like I said earlier, I'm staying away from the carbs. So, literally, chicken, salad, and I got my shake there. And there's some avocado in the salad as well. So, so keeping my, my fats a little bit higher, just so I've got more food and keep my calories up. This is pre-match meal. Trust, we've got a big game today, you ready? Yeah, we're playing away at um, Ocean Beach FC. Um, I think we'll come out. Uh, you got a couple of knocks, a couple of injuries. Uh, yeah. Had a hot, hot. I got frozen shoulder. Hard, you had a hard game yesterday as well. I did, yeah, I couldn't lift my arm, yeah. frozen shoulder and everything, all that. But we'll get the win today. One day in, not even 24 hours in, look at them. Absolute sausages. Well, it's about three o'clock now. We're about to all get ready to go out. So like I was saying earlier, just wrapping up um, like this whole little IB for trip is proper like a just mad little spanner in the works. And I think like I said earlier, I wasn't, um, not always never focused on the finals, but my main priority was always the Midlands. So we booked this for a little break after. So like I've been saying for the whole video, the aim has just been, the aim for this week, for me anyway, uh, is maintenance pretty much, so then when I get back, I've got them three weeks. But um, the feedback I got after judges from, from last week, I've had loads of people asking me, like, because uh, um, a lot of people thought I'd won, or, or thought it was really, well, a lot of people thought it was close, few people had me winning. But obviously, it's all perspective, and I think when it comes to um, something like that, because in the bodybuilding thing, we've got a good following in a social aspect, and people like us, and we've got that following. It, there is a bias, so obviously people think, oh yeah, he should have won. But um, going back through the videos, the pictures, he was definitely um, better conditioned. Uh, he's obviously more experienced, got a lot more mature muscle. But the feedback I got was still really good. So my feedback was literally um, just, I need to come in tighter, harder and drier, especially from the back. Everything else was bang on. Then I said my structure was perfect. One of the best on stage, which is, for me, the best thing that you can hear because structure is not something you can train for. Obviously, that's down to genetics and, and whatnot as well. So, 
Um, that was really pleasing to them. My posing was on point. Obviously, we know my, my proportions have come up a lot better. Still things to work on and whatnot. But um, yeah, the main feedback and the reason I didn't get the win um, is and because I wasn't tight enough from the back, especially in the glutes and hamstrings, which we already know from the last show to this show, that's my weak point as far as condition anyway. Um, and even though my back is good, it still can be a lot tighter and drier. So that's literally what we're going to be working on. We're thinking uh, about maybe six to eight pounds to pull off, which if you remember back to the last series, uh, we had the qualifier where I came second, and then we had two weeks to go to the finals, and uh, I think coming five pounds tighter and we won the finals. So I've got, I've got three weeks this time, well, four weeks including this week, but obviously, like I said, this is maintenance. We've got three weeks to try and, I'm gonna try and get eight pounds down. Um, we're gonna play around with the carb up a little bit, and just try and basically come in and as tight and as dry as possible. And like I said, the feedback from the judges is that not only is that why I, I didn't get that win, but if I do come in like that, then I'm going to be hard to beat. And it's a very hard class, which I, I didn't have any expectations of doing well in it in the finals. Like I wasn't, I was thinking about not even doing the final just because I didn't think I was at that level. But the feedback um, is saying if I can come in bone dry and hard like that, then uh, I mean we have a chance of at least a good a good place in anyway. So that is the plan. Obviously, we've got two, two more days out here, so a nice little break. Probably do me a little bit of good. Um, as you've seen today, my diet, training, cardio, everything's still in place. And then we get back Sunday, um, go see Carl, check in at Colesville. He's got the plan ready. We've already got an idea of what we're going to do. And then smash these next four weeks out, three weeks out to the finals. So, um, we're just going to keep the videos rolling. Keep it going all the way to the finals um, and see how we get on. But for now, the lads are all still recovering. Me, Troy, and Malx. No, well, not you. I know you're ready. I know you're ready. I'm trying to get the lads going. We're going to get some to get going. Oh, yeah, but I'm going to get ready. So I hope you enjoyed the video. A little quick vlog out here, like being fair. We always try and do a little vlog and go away, but we we'll never get around to doing it. So made sure we got one out today. Um, and yeah, if we don't see you before we leave here, we'll see you back at home when it's three weeks out. So let's get into the world. <laughs>